Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Bill, this is Yo-Yo Tech. Today we're gonna talk about something a little bit different than we have over the last few weeks, and, but it's very important, not just to home automation, but to the technology in general. And that is the idea of being open to new opportunities, solutions, software, hardware, ideas, whatever it might be. If you are in technology, this is something that you need to make sure that you're doing all the time. So guys, welcome back. Before we get going, I just wanna let you know about a few updates that I have for the channel. I'm planning to do some giveaways. That's right, I've been getting a lot of gear. I wanna find a way to get it into your hands. So if you haven't already, subscribe. There's a little bell down there, click on that. That'll make sure you get notified as soon as I have new content. You'll be the first one to know about any of these potential giveaways that are coming up soon. If you have any ideas or suggestions, comments, put them down below, they're important. Uh, and they help the community grow. On top of that, I have also started to work on a Patreon site. So for those of you that don't know, Patreon is a uh, system that allows creators like myself to um, be supported by its members. And this is not something that you have to do, but if you're interested, if you like these videos on this site, if you feel that you wanna help reach some of my goals there, I'm gonna provide a link in the coming week. Never thought that I would be creating my own site, but I've had some recommendations that I should do it, so I'm gonna give it a try. That is coming soon. So guys, what I wanna talk about today is openness. And it is stemming partially from many years of working in technology, and it's just, the conversation I've had many times, and also some of the comments and things that I've been seeing in home automation, because I think it plays a big part into this. One of the things that I do a lot of on this site is the best of videos, the best technology, the best hub, the best uh, platform, the best gear, because I have my opinions, and that's kind of what I want to offer to you. I've spent a lot of time trying different things out, and my hope is that I can give some of that time and effort that I put into it back to you. So whether or not you're a seasoned person in technology or in home automation and you're just looking for advice, or if you're someone new and you're starting out, you can jump onto this channel, watch a couple videos, get some ideas, and you got a good foothold and a place to start. Keep in mind, everything that I offer up, everything I give to you, these are my opinions. These are what are right for me. Um, and they're my opinions based on the knowledge that I have today. And that's where this video kind of kicks in and it's important. One of the things that I do whenever I'm interviewing new staff or new people for, for technology roles is I ask them, are they a Mac, PC, an iPhone or an Android person? And it's really interesting the type of answers you get. Sometimes you'll get people that are so passionate about this one way or another that, that the, the interview, the discussion can go down a whole new route and they'll sit and tell you all of the reasons why one is better, or sometimes they focus on one why, why the other ones are not good, but it's really, it's really interesting to watch this discussion take place. One of the things that I have always done in technology is challenge myself. I like to step out of my comfort zone. For example, I was a PC guy all my life. I always use PC computers, but if you've seen any of my videos, you notice anything, I use all Macs now, and that's because for me, I keep challenging myself to go to the products that I don't know and use them. And to be honest right now, I like Macs. I mean, they're, they're great platforms. I still know PCs better. I am better with a PC, but I've been using Macs a lot. Same thing with iPhone and Android. I mean, if I take it back to that discussion, Android is my platform of choice. But that being said, I'll switch over to an iPhone and I'll use it for a month. I'll use it for two months. One, to learn and understand what are the benefits of that product and what make it so good. And two, to just give it a try and make sure that I'm still raking the right decision by choosing Android. So let's flip that over to home automation. A lot of the discussions I've been seeing, a lot of people are talking about um, different systems. I put out a video and they say, well, what about this and what about that? Or this is better and that is better. And I think that's great because I want you guys to be passionate about the different products. But right now, my favorite solution when it comes to home automation is OpenHab. It wasn't my favorite solution six months to a year ago. A year ago, I think it needed a lot of growth still. But I think right now at this point, it's reached that point where 
it can do everything that I need it to do well. I love the fact that people are making comments. Go try Home Assistant, go try uh, Vera again, go back to Smart Things, go to Wink. People are saying, no, these are better and that's better and this is better, which is great because I've been spending more time trying those products, going back to them, confirming why OpenHab is good for me. Um, and in some instances, I'll jump ship and I'll change. I've done that many times in the past. I've used Vera, I've used Wink, I've used uh, Insteon, I've used Smart Things, I've used Home Assistant, I've used OpenHab. I've created my own systems in the past because I felt that none of the systems available did what I wanted them to do. So this is important to remember when you're looking at it. Don't get caught up in the fact that something is better than everything else. Get caught up in the idea that there are options out there and that you should look at them all of the time. And that goes for everything. One of my favorite things to do with, with any software or home automation is to go through the plugins directory. I love looking at all the different solutions that are there. I mean, whether it's software like Slack or Trello, plugins are all of these different functionalities and add-ons and things that you can do. And so many of the things I work with now are based on going through these plugins and looking at the options and constantly re-evaluating them to make sure that I'm doing the right thing that I should be doing. So if today's tip is anything, it is Choose your platform, work with your platform, but continue to constantly evolve, constantly question. The day that you make the decision to say, this is the best thing and I don't wanna look at anything else is the day that you start to stand still. You're not gonna move forward, you're not gonna progress in technology. So if you consider yourself to be someone who works with technology, whether it's a hobby or professionally, always keep investigating, exploring, and looking at new options. So today was a bit of a rant I um, could go on for hours like this because I've had this debate and conversation with people before. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Um, hopefully it stirs up a little bit of uh, oomph in you and you get out there and try something new. If you're using Home Assistant, try OpenHab. Give it a good try. Use it for a month, see what you think about it. One of the reasons I like open source is because it's always growing and there's options within there. So my recommendation, and I'm planning to do a video uh, with, with Home Assistant and OpenHab, one of the things that I would love to see them do is come up with an easy way to connect together. There's no reason that I shouldn't be able to have Home Assistant installed on one Raspi and OpenHab on another and have the two of them doing what they do best and communicating cleanly together. That is the best option. So any devs out there that are listening, we need to build some bindings, some connectors, some plugins to make these two talk together. If there already is something and I don't know about it, Comments, let me know because I'd love to take a look at it. Guys, keep on learning. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell and we'll be back with some more videos sooner than you think.